Good morning, my friends. Welcome again. Rome, Italy, we are here. And today, I'm doing a special sunglass vlog again. My last one while I'm here. This one goes out to William Castle. Not the man who made the tingler. A great Lionheart supporter of mine. And today, he said, ah, you know what? Do whatever you want. And I said, I know what I'm gonna do. William, we're going to the Coliseum. Formerly known as the Flavian Amphitheater where Bruce Lee, Chuck Norris had their monumental fight in Return of the Dragon where many Christians were martyred. This was once a brutal amphitheater that 65,000 people on a regular basis would come and see executions, fights, um, pretty much any kind of public display. And then after they realized that it couldn't be used for that anymore, the, it went down into uh, to a little bit of ruins after the fire, they decided to give it to a church and let homeless people and the church use it. Now, it's a historic relic of Rome and we're gonna go see it today. Days of Jordan the Lion begins now. Hey, it's Mr. Bean's car. By the way, I almost got a free car last night. <laughs> My, some of the people in my hostel room, we all went out last night and uh, went walking around. And while we're walking, we see this Volkswagen Bug from like the 70s parked on a sidewalk. And uh, there's other cars like basically just smashing it in. You can tell that it looks like it hasn't been moved forever. And we look in the window and the keys are sitting on the front seat. <laughs> well, I am happy to report there's no feel of rain today. Whew. That's good to know. You might be wondering why it's called the Colosseum now if it used to be known as the Flavian Amphitheater. Well, it apparently it came from a statue that used to sit out front at one point that was colossal. And as new emperors came in, apparently what they did was they just lopped off his head and put the new emperor's head on there. And they did that multiple times and then an earthquake happened. It got a little destroyed. They just removed it and now that block that it was on is still there, but they just coined the amphitheater now called the Colosseum. Not a bad thing to stumble into in a park as you're making your way to a Roman monument. Dun da da! Can you believe we're here? I almost can't. Hello. Well, that's the part you all recognize, I'm sure. And if you notice, there is a cross there. Once it was named the Colosseum, they put that cross there in remembrance of all the martyred Christians inside here. And that is the Arch of Constantine, so let's go take a closer look at that as well. Man, look at that guy. Wow, look at that. Can you imagine? I mean, we are we're literally standing in front of things that are thousands of years old. I mean, the Colosseum. All right, now I'm just waiting in line to pick up my reservation tickets. Even for reservations, it's a line. All right, we got it. Get your chariots ready, Lionheart. We're ready to rock. We're going in. So that's what we're looking for, guys. We're gonna try and match up that fight scene from Return of the Dragon, Chuck Norris, Bruce Lee. We're gonna try and find this exact spot. Well, we are inside. God, I'm so excited. Look at that. 
Now that underground section, that's where from the east side they would bring the people that were going to be either the animals or the people that were going to be executed or gladiating in there. They would bring them from the east side and then from the west side they would bring in like the emperors and the you know the important people so that they wouldn't have to uh, wait in lines and mix with everyone else. That's that that would have been the underground down there. Don't worry guys, we're gonna get down there. We'll eventually get down there. God, isn't this magnificent? The history, the history here. Good and bad. Thank God, oh, mostly bad, honestly, but. Whew. Now they said originally the ground would have been sand and after gladiator battles or whatever it is that they were doing that night particularly many times the ground would be completely soaked in blood inches of blood so to my best estimation from re-watching and re-watching and re-watching the second level below us is where chuck norris and bruce lee had their fight in return of the dragon i found the arches they match up with these arches right here, so you can actually see that break in the background. So when we get down to this second floor, I'll show you where they had the big fight, the big 10 minute fight scene. And other than a movie that they let film a few scenes here in 2010, as far as I know, the filming of Way of the Dragon or the US release Return of the Dragon was the last thing they allowed to be filmed here. Isn't it crazy to see what the world is now right outside this and then to look down and see what it was like? This place is massive. Now you'll notice that all the seating is gone, but like I said, at one point, they said it could have held anywhere between 50,000, 80,000, but on an average night, it was 65,000 people crammed in here, bloodthirsty, ready for watching the horrific gory things that would be happening here like I said the other day guys this is when all those lenses come in handy well you see those rocks on the ground as I was just filming my last little clip I heard a crumble and I was like wouldn't that be weird if part of the Coliseum was falling well, I'll be danged if that's not what it was. God, can you imagine how many, how many like, people and animals would have been carted down through that underground? Look, they actually have some stairs that haven't been destroyed. Yeah. Some of the original stairs. <laughs> now, if you're wondering why part of this uh, amphitheater, or why this place looks like it's broken, well, obviously it is, but it was because of an earthquake. An earthquake happened and broke a lot of that off. So, like I said, this part right here, I, from what I understand, this, this level was uh, put there by National Geographic to show how the actual sand floor would have covered the underground. So that's why you see that. It's not just like a, a landing or whatever for people to take pictures, which it obviously is, but a little bit more to the story than that. Well, there's the Arch of Constantine through one of the windows here at the Colosseum. Now, if you can't make it to Italy, I sure hope this is the next best thing for you. I'm really trying to give you the experience I'm having here. Kind of just showing you things that are wowing me.
Yeah. And that, as I understand it, that centerpiece right there, that's where the original colossal statue of Nero was that they ended up naming this place after. And then, like I said, they kept taking his head off and putting whatever empire or emperor was, was in charge, then they would put his head on the body until it eventually just got destroyed. I'm going to try and work my way up there if I can. And through here you can actually see the ruins of the old Roman Forum, which I'll also be vlogging. I'll show you this angle of the forum now because obviously when we get over there you're not going to be able to see it quite like this. You can see the old forum columns over there being supported. I can see three floors down from this one. Isn't that kind of cool? Now this is really cool because what they have here are a lot of the uh, kind of representative statues and some of the busts that were here because originally when this would have been an operation they would have had um, a statue in every single one of these archways. So you can see a lot of them are in pieces but very cool to see. that marble pillar and it says that these were discovered in the 19th century so pretty recent so these would have been original and this is a view of what it looked like when they would have been exploring it 1814 this is kind of cool they have some paintings here done that showed different angles I guess you would say maybe or different depictions of the Colosseum The gods will occupy the city and run the Colosseum for about 100 years to the 550s, uh, mainly to appease the occupied population of the city. But when they go away as well in the mid um, 6th century, 550s to 560s when they leave, at that point you, you, you're leaving Rome with no government, so nobody would put the games anymore. But in the late 700s, apparently pilgrims started coming back to Rome to support the Pope. They're the first ones to pick up writing records again, and from, from now on we're going to know what happened. I love it when they do this. They, they take the pieces that they did find and then they make a replica of what it would have looked like and they fit the piece in there. You can see. Here's actually a model kind of depicting what I was telling you earlier about how they had statues in every single arch right there. And this gives a little bit better idea of how the seating would have been since obviously you're, you're looking at it now and you're going, where were the seats? You see? It's kind of how it would have been constructed at the time. And you can see that they're basically like stair step type seats. This kind of gives you a little bit better idea of how it was constructed at least. And then of course this is the section we entered right up here. Well, how about that? One single solitary flower growing right there. There you can see some of the, uh, the old seating that hasn't been torn out right there. Hey William, while I'm thinking about it, look where your sunglasses are. So basically the way the day would have laid out in a day in here was that in the morning they would introduce the 
contestants and they would actually go on a hunt. They would have wild animals in here and they would have to hunt the wild animals. And then at the lunch interval, what they would do is they would bring the slaves out here and they would basically send them out unarmed and let the wild beasts that were that had won or that were still around, they would let them feast on those unarmed slaves. And then they would have jugglers and magicians and all that come out and do performance and everything. And then they would have the gladiators come out. And the gladiators would basically be like the, the coup de gras, the grand finale of it all. So they basically quit having all the gladiator matches and everything here at the end of the medieval era. And in the 11th century, that's when the churches basically took this property over. Basically, as long as they could use it for something, they got to use it. Now we're on the ground level. Let me switch lenses here, guys. There, you can see a little bit better down in. These would have been all the little tunnels for all the animals and stuff, see? Now I want to try and get over to that right now if I can. Well, I'm a little concerned, guys, because unfortunately, where I need to match up the Bruce Lee and Chuck Norris fight, I believe is around here. And as you can tell, they have it all blocked off, so bummer. I couldn't find my way to the top. I walked all the way around the second level and there wasn't one staircase, so I don't know if maybe you have to take something from down here or what, so that's what I'm looking for now. Marble pillars. Now a lot of Christians actually hold this place as a uh, pretty heavy like weight on their heart because of all the martyrdom that was here. When Nero was emperor, he was just completely ruthless to Christians and was killing all that he could find. There we go. Now you can see inside of it. So what I've surmised is that this landing and that landing and then the stuff up there that I was trying to get to, it's all some special tour. You have to somehow be on that tour and they're the only ones allowed to take you there. So I'm sorry guys, I didn't know that. But after Pompeii, I'm done with the group tours. Every You don't even know how many good shots I had to throw away because I'd be in the middle of doing this and a hand with a cell phone would go flying up right in the middle of my shot. So I vowed no more group tours. Well, gang, I do apologize that we kind of failed at matching up the Chuck Norris Bruce Lee fight. I think pretty much the areas they have restricted is where it happened because all the arches I was looking for to match up are all over there. So. Sorry about that, guys. William, I hope you enjoyed this. Well, no fight scene, but I think we saw plenty. Hope you guys enjoyed our tour of the Coliseum. Goodbye, Coliseum, and have a great night, Lionhearts.